It's the Refine Reseller. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel. In this video, I show you some items I recently sold on eBay that I bought at garage and estate sales. Some I did well with and some I probably should not have bought. You can watch this video and learn what to invest in and maybe what not to invest in, so check it out. I made some money on some of these items, on some of the other ones I'm just hoping to break even. I mean, what was I thinking? I mean, really, what was I thinking? Find out in this video, but first please take the time to like it, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. Let's go. The first item I want to show you is one that I bought at an estate sale. And as you know, I'm always looking out for unusual items because if I see one, I always check it out. I find out about it and I try to figure out if it's worth buying. And here is one of those items. This is a Bell helicopter tail rotor blade with a hub. I bought this at an estate sale. There were actually two of them. I put this one on auction because I really had no idea what the value was. It sells brand new for $8,000. However, this is not functional, so it was sold as wall art, as a decoration for someone's man cave. I started the bidding at $199, and it ended up selling for $302. I paid $30 for it, and I have another one that's very similar to this one that I will put on auction on Sunday evening. Next is this vintage creature from the Black Lagoon. It's a model made by the Aurora Model Company from 1963. I bought about 10 of these. I actually had three creature from the Black Lagoons. I also had King Kong. I had the Lone Ranger. I had Godzilla. I had the Mummy. I had Frankenstein. I have sold a bunch of them. I put this on auction and I did get one bid. It sold for $79.99. Then I sold another one just like it. The other one had a little red paint on it. This one had no paint, and this one sold for $79.99 as well. I paid $30 for each of these. Here's an interesting item. This is a Sonatrol Alarm Loop Expansion Module. I had never seen one of these before. I bought this at an estate sale. I probably bought about 200 very similar products. I think I paid less than $100 for everything that I bought, and I sold this one item right here for $199.99, so that was pretty good. Then I sold this Star Trek t-shirt from the 1990s, 1991 to be exact. This is Spock, you know, live long and prosper. It was almost brand new, and I sold it for $79.99. I bought quite a few t-shirts very similar to this. I paid a dollar for each shirt, and again, I ended up getting $79.99. Not too bad. Here's yet another one. This is Stone Cold Steve Austin, a camouflage t-shirt. It's from 1999, and this one sold for $70. If you've watched my channel before, you know that I recently went to the world's longest garage sale. I started in Gadsden, Alabama, made it up almost all the way to Kentucky. If you'd like to check out those videos, you can click the links right above. It'll take you right to them. But I'd like to show you now some items that I purchased on that sale and that I have sold. One of the things I bought at the world's longest yard sale was a bunch of Avon products. I think I bought maybe 200 of them and I paid $120 for all 200. Most of them are like this, a new. Uh, this is Clinical Skin Vincible. I sold this one for $15. Then I sold this one right here. It's a Lift and Firm Pro. It sold for $17.99. I sold this Outspoken cologne or perfume by Fergie, and it sold for $24.99. And I sold this Skin So Soft. I bought 14 bottles of this, or it was included in the lot that I bought. I just put two in a lot, and I sold these two for $24.99. If you were to buy these from an Avon rep, the Skin So Soft bath oil spray would cost you $24.99 for just one bottle. So whoever bought this got a deal. 
Then I bought 1,500 comic books and I bought them to learn more about them and what I am learning is that I probably should not have bought them because I went through all 1,500 and out of the 1,500 that I bought, I have about 300 that I will be able to sell on eBay. The other ones are just not, uh, are just not worth listing because they're worth about one to two dollars each and I'm just not willing to do that. So what I will do is I will just put them all on a lot and I will put them on Facebook Marketplace and I will ask one hundred and twenty dollars for twelve hundred comic books just trying to get my money back. Again, I bought fifteen hundred comic books. I paid two hundred and twenty five dollars and I'm hoping to get my money back. I've learned my lesson not to buy comic books that are not like DC or Marvel and none of these are but let me show you what I have sold the first one is Dead World number one from Arrow Comics 1986 it sold for four dollars and four dollars and ninety nine cents then I sold this one this is Legends of the Dark Claw uh, it's from 1996 it sold for six dollars and ninety nine cents I also sold these four right here this is Monster in My Pocket uh, issues one two three and four they sold for $11. Then I sold this Lone Wolf and Cub lot of nine books. I was asking $15.99. I took a best offer of $13 because I'm just trying to get rid of them. And I sold this lot of The Fish Police, a lot of seven books. They sold for $11.99. Then also on the world's longest yard sale, I bought a whole bunch of Legos. I think I got 30 sets. I paid $100 for all 30 sets and I have sold some of them. I sold this one right here. This is Space Police Jet Raid. It sold for $14. Then I sold this Lego Town City Garbage Recycling Truck for $20. I sold this uh, Kai's Fire Mech Set for $14.99. And that was it for the Legos. I also uh, sold this plush toy right here. I picked this up at a garage sale for $1. It's a Build-A-Bear. The reason I bought it is because it is Baby Yoda from The Mandalorian. Again, I paid a dollar for it and it sold for $25. Next, I sold this Batman figure uh, from DC Universe. It sold for $11.99. I sold this uh, Star Wars action figure. I paid maybe a dollar for it and it sold for $35. It's 18 inches tall, it's a big figure and I was happy to get the $35 for this one. Then I sold this really small Halo Mega Block figure of uh, Broadsword Midnight. It sold for $26.05. I mean, this figure is not even two inches tall but somebody bought it and I made some really good money on it. Then I sold this lot of Halo Mega Blocks. I just put them all together. It was a lot of 36 figures and they sold for $39.99. Next, I sold this Fisher Price Imaginext Eagle Talon Castle Dragon. It was new in a box. I paid $3 for it and it sold for $39.99. I sold a Jake Specific WWE action figure. This is Stone Cold Steve Austin. I sold his shirt earlier. And I sold this for $35. Bought this at a garage sale for $1. And uh, I've sold some hip hop records that I recently bought. I think I bought about 100 of them for $30. I lotted these together. This is five and they sold for $40.11. I sold this one right here. This is Usher. It's titled Yeah and it sold for $12.99. So as you can see, I've already made my money back and I have about 100 of these albums. I sold yet another one. This is Nelly, Nellyville. It sold for $19.99. And I sold this Devo album. This was not included in that lot. This was from another garage sale that I bought it at and it sold for $40. Here's a Skylanders trap team. It's a lot of 23 action figures. I bought a bunch of these. These are kind of common, so I just put them in a lot and they sold for $39.99. I sold this lot of Charlie's Angels trading cards, bought these at a garage sale. There were 106 of them and I just put them together. They sold for $24. Here's a Starbucks coffee cup from Singapore, 2013. It sold for $24.99. I bought about 12 of these cups for 25 cents a piece. So I turned a 25 cent investment to a $25 sale. Here's a Dallas Cowboy cap that I bought. I paid $2 for this. It sold for $39.99. It is vintage and uh, probably from the 1990s. 
Here is a lot of porcelain china powder paint that I sold. I bought about 1,500 of these at an estate sale for $100. I am just putting them in lots of 100. This lot sold for $51.50. This is about the fifth lot that I have sold. Here's a pair of Keen men's olive sandals, a size 13. Picked them up for $2 at a garage sale and sold them for $23.45. Another pair of shoes that I bought, I bought these because they looked almost brand new. They're a pair of Nike Air Max 97 Wheat Gold Club women's shoes. I paid $3 for them. I had them listed for $49.99 and I took a best offer of $35. And here are some Motorola rectifier tubes. I bought a whole lot of these. I'm talking maybe a hundred of these for $5 at a garage sale. This lot right here sold for $39.99. I sold a lot the other day for $50. So I am just killing it on these tubes from Motorola. If you can buy them in a lot and you know not pay much for them, go ahead and do it because as you can see, they do sell. Here's a Nirvana poster from 1992. Picked this up at a garage sale. I paid $5 for it. It sold for $39.99. I always have success selling Nirvana posters, t-shirts, records, CDs. They sell, so put that on your bolo list. Here is a next level guitar lot of five DVDs. Sold this one for $29.99. Then I sold a very similar one for uh, $29.99 as well. So there you have it. Some items I recently bought at garage and estate sales, including some items I bought on the world's longest yard sale. I really hope you learned something from watching this video and you found it informative. If you did, please take the time to like it, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. This is the Refined Reseller saying, as always, do like me, buy low, sell high. Good sourcing, good selling, and I'll see you next time.